everyone, good afternoon, and welcome to today's teaching, which is being presented to you by For Those Who Choose Incorporated. My name is Anisha Tillman, and I am on the instructor team of For Those Who Choose. And teaching with me today, da -da -da -da, <laughs> are my mother, Annette Cook, Hello. who is one of our co-founders and instructors here at For Those Who Choose, and my father, Elder Aaron Cook, who is also a co-founder and lead instructor here at For Those Who Choose Incorporated. Amen. So today we are going to continue in our series called The Concepts and Characteristics of the Kingdom. Yeah. We've been talking about this for a while. Yeah, yeah. it's been about eight months now. Yeah. Well, time went quick, right? It's it been is. about, I looked at it, it's, we've been talking about this for 23 weeks. So this makes week 24. Wow. Really? Wow. wow. And, That's not, a lot. and we just scratching the surface, surface of it. We just scratching the surface of it. Mm. So we're going to continue in our series on concepts and characteristics of the kingdom today. And over the last two weeks, we've been learning about the principle of citizenship. Right. Citizenship. Citizenship. Yes. Yeah. Very important. It is very. It's vitally important. All of the everything that we've been talking about is important, important for you right. to know and understand. Exactly. Because it's about the kingdom. And that's what we need to know because the Bible is about a king. Mm -hmm. It's about his kingdom. And it's about his royal family, which mm -hmm. includes all of us and all of you also. Right. Yes. So during today's session, we're going to begin by reviewing what we discussed and learned last week. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to move into week three. So over the previous two weeks of this topic, we've asked the question, why are we discussing citizenship? Yeah, oh, we've been right. asking that. Mm -hmm. And prayerfully, if you've been tuning in with us, by now you're beginning to understand the necessity mm -hmm. of your understanding of citizenship. citizenship. Mm -hmm. Even though it's a foreign concept to most churches, mm -hmm. we've come, come to understand that citizenship is the most important part of our experience with God our Father in heaven. That's right. Our understanding of citizenship is also critical to understanding the nature of the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it is our desire that you begin to understand why the subject of citizenship and being a law-abiding citizen mm -hmm. is so important. Yes. yes. Especially the law-abiding citizen right. part is vitally important because without being a law-abiding citizen, you have no rights in the country. You have right. no. So the parallel of that is you're a citizen in the United States or any country, but if you break the law mm -hmm. of the Constitution, you become a criminal. You know, exactly. if you break the law and you're proven guilty, because you know in the United States we have this innocent until proven guilty. Mm -hmm. Right. Once you're proven guilty, you are no longer a law-abiding citizen. Mm -hmm. Right. And what mm -hmm. they do is one, you get locked up. Right. Yes. They take your passport. You have mm -hmm. no privileges. You have no benefits. None. No rights. So all your rights are taken away. Mm -hmm. right. Which is so, you know, it's the reason why it's so important that we understand that as citizens of the kingdom of heaven, mm -hmm. you know, with God's government manifested in this earth, you know, it's not a religious act. Right. right. You know, it's 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 a legal act. And it's mm -hmm. your right as citizens of that kingdom to have access to what heaven's constitution says that you have a right to. Exactly. Which is why your citizenship is so important. Right. Exactly. And your understanding of your the fact that you're a citizen, right? Is right. important. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. good. I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> so as we've said numerous times, heaven is a country. It's a country. It's a country, a real country. Yes. Right. And the Bible is about a country, mm -hmm. and it's about a country that is ruled by a, a king. king. A king. Mm -hmm. Not a president. Not a president. Not, not a, a prime mayor. minister. So, not a mayor. A king. Not That's even right. a mayor or a governor. That's right. A king. And the name of the country where God dwells and rules is called heaven. Heaven. That is why God is called a king. And we've right. talked about it the last few weeks where it says in Psalms 24 and 8 mm -hmm. of the Constitution of Heaven, mm -hmm. it says, open, open the, the gates mm -hmm. and let the king of glory come in. The King James right. Version says, lift up your heads, O ye gates. Mm -hmm. Be ye lifted, lifted up, ye everlasting doors, yeah. and the king of glory shall, shall come in. in. Then it asks, who is the king of glory? Mm -hmm. King of glory. Mm. And they get, you get the answer right That's away. Right. The Lord. Lord strong and mighty. That's right. right. Who is the king of glory? The Lord mighty in Amen. battle. Amen. He is the king of glory. That's right. He's the king of heaven. That's mm -hmm. right. 
So when we come to Christ and receive him as our Lord and our Savior, we become naturalized citizens wow. of this country called That's heaven. That's right. So it's important for us to study and learn about the principle of citizenship mm -hmm. so that we can know and understand our place in the country, mm -hmm. our rights as citizens, mm -hmm. and the benefits that come along and that are guaranteed to us that's right. that come along with our citizenship in the kingdom of heaven. And that's Amen. so important Amen. because there's so many people who don't know their rights as citizens. They don't know. They don't even understand that they are citizens. Right. right. Even though the Bible clearly talks about us being citizens. Right. Of, of, of the kingdom of heaven. Right. You don't under, you know, this, like we said many times, you can't do what you don't know. Right. right. If you don't know and understand it, you can't apply it. Right. 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 So now as we've said each week, and we, you know, as Anisha just mentioned, we've been teaching the concepts and characteristics of kingdom or kingdom principles for like the last 24 weeks now. Yes. So we've yes. said this each and every week, you know, um, all true kingdoms contain the same characteristics and components. Mm -hmm. And in this series, we are receiving, we are reviewing the concepts and principles of kingdoms that you should know and become familiar with. And it's vitally important if you are a student, a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. It's vitally important that you understand these concepts and characteristics, because if you don't understand the concepts and characteristics of kingdoms, then you're not getting a true understanding of what the Lord Jesus Christ instructed us to do. Yes. So you must study and apply them to the message of the kingdom of God in heaven, taught by the king himself. Jesus Christ. Yes. In order for you to fully understand his concepts, not mm -hmm. ours, mm -hmm. but his concepts, which are his ideas and his precepts mm -hmm. or principles of the kingdom of God. Amen. Understanding the mind of God about the kingdom will also help you to understand your purpose, your potential, mm -hmm. the power that you have available to you to dominate in life yes. and your position in life. And as we've said before, our primary objective for this series continues to be that you begin a learn, you begin learning the original concepts and characteristics of kingdoms in general, so that as you study the Bible, your understanding can be complete. Yes. Amen. Yes. Now, as a reminder, we've said each week that the content of this series is taken from the book by the late great Dr. Miles Monroe called. Kingdom, Kingdom principles. principles. Amen. Yes. And we encourage you once again to read it yourself as well, because the book goes into detailed research done by Dr. Miles, which consists of 26 different components of kingdoms. Wow. And as we said, we, we can't cover all of it. You know, right. we can, but mm -hmm. we would be like another year probably right. trying to get through it. And there's just so much more that we want to scratch the surface of just to whet your appetite to cause you to go and do more additional research yourself. So right. once again, we're not going to cover all 26 components in this series, but the goal has been to provide a good foundation to increase your knowledge and understanding mm -hmm. of the kingdom of God. Yes. Yeah. Again, we want to remind you that the kingdom is God's greatest desire and passion for you and I. And it's important that we study the kingdom. Mm -hmm. We are God's children. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible says calls us sons of God. Yes. Right? We are his mature offspring. So we are his children. And his desire is that we would rule this earth and that we would reign in life with the influence of heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God wants the environment of his influence, which is his government and the economy of heaven to come back to earth as he originally intended That's purpose, right. plan, and decreed from the, the very, very beginning. beginning. Because Amen. he came with a government a, on a, his shoulders. That's right. Not a religion, but mm -hmm. a government. Right. Yes. And that's why it's important for us to understand our, our position as citizens. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Because that's part of the government that he brought back. Yes. Yeah, he restored Amen. our sonship and he restored our citizenship. Those are the things that that government affords us. Amen. 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 God wants his heavenly kingdom or his heavenly government mm -hmm. to be manifested in the earth through you and I. God's desire is that his kingdom government be manifested in our hearts and in our minds so that we, you know, to we his children to the point that we take on his culture, mm -hmm. his nature, his morals and his values so that the culture of heaven is manifested throughout the earth. Amen. Now remember, we said this each time, each time culture is not in land, but instead culture is in the people of the land. Yeah. So when you possess the culture of the king of heaven, you will indeed be able to manifest 
heaven's culture in the earth. Amen. Amen. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be, be done, done on earth, earth just like it is in heaven. heaven. Amen. Amen. Now, for those of you who are joining us live today, Amen. we ask that you join the conversation. All throughout this live session, we ask that you share your thoughts and questions with us. And at the end of each session, we have an open forum. Mm -hmm. During that time, we will respond to any questions that you may have online. Mm -hmm. It's our desire is that you walk away, as you said before, from these teachings with the knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm that's going to allow you to apply Amen. what you're learning to your everyday life. And that's Why important. are you learning something and not applying what you learn? Yeah. Remember in the parable of the soul, which is in the book of Matthew, chapter 13, Jesus, you sure explains that the seed is the word of the kingdom yeah. and how the evil one is Satan. Yes. Mm -hmm. We all know that. He tells how Satan comes immediately to steal the word of the kingdom when you don't understand it. Yeah. Therefore, please don't leave this session today with having, without having a clear, understand. thorough understanding of everything yes. that we discussed. So yes. please join the conversation. Mm -hmm. Type your questions or your comments in the comments section. And we have a team of people who will be able to share them with us. Also, mm -hmm. if you don't mind, hit the like and share buttons yes. while you're here. Share this message with others who may want to learn more about the kingdom because it is for those, those who choose it. Not only that, that's the only thing that the gospel that Jesus taught was the gospel of the kingdom. Yes. The kingdom of God, which is his government, and the kingdom of heaven, which is where his throne is, mm -hmm. which is where he is right now as we speak and collaborate Amen. and talk to you. Amen. 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 Now, before we go on and move into our lesson for today, let's officially open up our session in prayer. And I'm going to ask my mother, Sister Anna, to open us up in prayer. And you pray with us at home Amen. as well. Amen. 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 Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Father God, it is in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that we come before you, God, once again. Father, always giving you thanks and praise and honor and glory. Father God, always magnifying your holy name. Father, lifting you, God, daily, exalting you and extolling you, Father, in our hearts yes, and in our minds and in our lives, Lord. We thank you daily that you are the King of kings and you yes. are the Lord of lords. Yes, you are great. You are awesome. You are mighty. You are the most high king yes. and you are the Lord of heaven and earth. Yes. We thank you, Father, this day for your manifested presence. We thank you daily for your governance over our lives. Yes. We thank you daily for your government being manifested in and through our lives. Yes. We thank you for this opportunity to come before your presence, Lord, because your word says in your presence there is fullness of joy. You said at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Yes. So we thank you this day, Father, for your manifested governance, Lord. Yes. We thank you for your presence, God, in this teaching, in this <coughs> session. We yes. thank you for your manifested presence in the hearts and the minds of each and every person watching and participating in this teaching on the day, Lord God. Yes. Now, Father, we thank you because your word tells us that we have not because we ask not. But you said if we ask and we ask you, Lord, anything in the name of Jesus Christ, you said you would do it. So, Father, we are asking you in the name of Jesus, and we are also asking you in accordance with your word, Father, that each and every person that watches this teaching and the live recording or even in the recorded version, God, that you are drawing them in your word by your spirit. Yes. We know that it is by your spirit, Father, that people are drawn into the knowledge of the kingdom. Yes. We are asking you, Father, like Paul prayed, to enlighten each and every heart. Yes. That Lord. each and every person would be increased in yes. knowledge yes. and understanding and wisdom of the kingdom of God, Father. Yes. We Lord. ask, Father, that by the authority of your word, that not only will we know it, Father, but we understand it to the point where we can all do it. Yes. That we are daily applying your kingdom principles in every area and every aspect of our lives. Yes, Holy Spirit, we give you the permission. 
with the authority that the Father has given us through Jesus Christ to intervene, to influence, and to daily impact the affairs of every life watching this teaching this day. Yes, we Lord. give you the permission to operate in us, to yes. operate on us, yes. to operate through us, to cause the good and acceptable and perfect will of the Father to be done in and through our lives. Yes, Satan, we remind you daily that your plans are canceled. They are null and void. The blood yes. of Jesus yes. is yes. against yes. you. Yes. You will not steal. Yes. You will not kill. You will not hinder nor destroy the plan of God for our lives yes. because the blood of Jesus Christ is against you. Holy Spirit, we lift up the teacher before you this day. Yes. We plead yes. the blood of Jesus over her life. Yes. Yes. We bind continually the hand of the enemy. Yes. Yes. We thank you, Father, for granting her clear articulation, yes. for continuity of thought, yes. that, the te that the hearers will be able to hear and receive and grow thereby. Yes. Father, we ask that we decrease and that your presence increase. Yes. Holy yes. Spirit, you are the teacher. We yield this time unto you. Yes. Have your way in this place. Yes. Have your way in the lives of your people. Yes. Allow the anointing that rests in our lives to do exactly what you said it would do. Yes. That it will destroy burdens mm, and yes. it will break yokes of bondage off the yes. lives of your people, Father. We give you the permission to do it, Father. We thank you and we praise you. Yes, now, Lord. once again, we yield this time unto you. Father, we will always be extra careful to give you the yes. praise. Yes. We believe we have received what we have asked you for because you said you watch over your word to perform it. Yes. You hasten it to fulfill yes. it. So we thank you, Father, for what we have asked you, that yes. it is already done as we have asked you all these things and the authority that you have given us to dominate in life. Yes. And that is in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. It is in that authority that we pray. Amen. 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 Well, bless the Lord, everybody. Amen. Bless the Lord, Amen. everybody. We are for those who choose. Mm -hmm. And we are a ministry that loves God, hates sin, and loves to give. Yes. We are a ministry that's declaring a standard of righteousness. Well, what is the, what does it mean to declare? The word declare means to make known. Amen. What do we make it known? We're making known that the only gospel that Jesus taught yes. was the, the gospel of, of the, the kingdom. kingdom. Amen. Yes. The Amen. gospel of the kingdom. Amen. We're here to change followers into yes. leaders and make Amen. leaders into Amen. agents of change. Amen. We're here to do what Paul said, to, to teach people to become people and citizens of the kingdom who are fully, fully persuaded, persuaded in, in the things of God. Amen. Not just persuaded, but Paul says you have to become Fully persuaded yes. in the things of God. Amen. Amen. Now, let's begin by reviewing some of the key points that we covered in last week's lesson in part two Amen. of the kingdom principles of citizenship. citizenship. Amen. Yes. Last week, we began by referencing Luke 22 and 29, where Christ says these words. How many times have we said this? Many. I confer or appoint on you a kingdom. kingdom. Just like my father conferred one on me. Amen. So that goes to show you that whatever Jesus has, he wants to give it to us. He's Amen. already given He's it to us. He's already given it to us. Amen. Amen. So we inform you that the Hebrew word for confer, C-O-N-F-E-R, mm -hmm. is one that is used when a king is choosing an ambassador. Yes. And we say that the word confer is still used today for appointing ambassadors. Mm -hmm. Yes. It means to transfer to a person the entire country. Mm, mm, so if I'm, I'm giving you an entire country. That's right. Mm. We said that an ambassador receives a country. Mm -hmm. Therefore, an ambassador is more powerful than a president or prime minister. Mm -hmm. And we know he's definitely more powerful than a mayor. And yeah. Amen. <laughs> he's local. The mayor's local. Amen. This is, you know, the, the country is, is a, is a national God. thing. Yeah. That's right. God. Amen. Right. We said that the president or prime minister represents a party. Amen. However, an ambassador represents an entire country. Mm -hmm. We then read 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 through 21, and found out that we are ambassadors of Christ yes. and his kingdom, yes. which is the kingdom of heaven. Yes. We said this means that 
He conferred on you and I a country. Yes. We are ambassadors of the country of heaven. Yes. And we have the Holy Spirit living in us. And in you and you, yes. all of us and you too. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the full embodiment of the country of heaven dwelling in us. That's powerful. Mm. Which is why, right, dwelling in you. Mm. Which is why blaspheming. The Holy Spirit is sin. the unpardonable sin. 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 Yeah. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. We say when you go to work, you're not representing yourself. Mm -hmm. You are representing a country. country yes. That word present and representing, the word present means to make known. Right. Mm -hmm. The prefix R-E means again. Mm -hmm. Right. So what, what, what this is saying that we are representatives of the kingdom of God. Every time they see us, we should be making known the kingdom of heaven to this earth. Yes. yes. The Lord said, let your light so shine before men that they might the see your good works. Oh. And I remember, remember I first read that? When I first read that, I said, Lord, why do I have to let my light shine before men mm -hmm. that they might see my good works? Because, Lord, I'll do the work, but I, I'd rather be behind the scenes. Right. He said, read on. And I read on. And it said that so that ye might glorify your father which is in heaven yes. you're not doing it for self-righteousness right. or to be seen by right. men or women or for self-aggrandizement yes. but you're doing it for his divine purpose yes. and everything that you do whether you're a teacher or preacher or um, administrator i don't care what your title position or station in life is everything that we do should be for his divine purpose Amen. that's why you were sent from heaven to earth mm -hmm. and if you're doing it for any other reason and if you're definitely if you're doing mm. it to be seen, you're doing it for the wrong oh, reason. Right. And a lot of people are doing things on TV and even in church or even on their job for the wrong reason. The truth They're doing seen. it to be seen. Yes. And the Lord talks about that. He says, when you do things to be seen, you you, you've reward. already you received your reward. That's right. You did it for man, not for me. That's exactly. right. So you've got your reward. Mm. So remember, you are representing a country. Therefore, the way you dress, talk, mm -hmm. argue, cuss, mm -hmm. or respond is being observed. Yes. Right. See, people around you are observing your country. Mm -hmm. And they will quickly conclude that this must be the way that everyone from your country acts. Mm -hmm. And they are oh. quick to tell you, right? Yes. I thought, I thought you, you were a Christian. Christian. That's what they'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> We said that we should even dress nice because we are a part of a country that is nice. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We said you will never see, never, somebody say never. Never. See an ambassador in a broken down car or raggedy clothes and shoes. Right. And I have it. I mean, from the United States, from England, in anywhere. nowhere. They're always sharp. Yeah, because mm -hmm. they represent their country. They represent exactly. their country, right. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Why? Because he is a country, mm -hmm. or she is a country. That's right. Yes. And after reading Matthew 6, 25 through 34, we said the government, the government pays for all of the ambassador's bills. Amen. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. We could get into that, but we're going to keep going. Amen. <laughs> we encourage you to petition the government of heaven and accept your credentials as citizens of Christ's kingdom. Mm -hmm. Accept your, cred your credentials credentials mm -hmm. as citizens of Christ's kingdom. Yes. We said once you do this according to Philippians 4 and 19 of the Constitution, God must supply all oh, your needs please. according to his riches and glory, which is a home country in and by Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Last week we said God is connected or concerned about his name. Mm -hmm. He's always concerned about his name. Mm -hmm. yes. Psalms 23 and 3 says he leads us through the path of righteousness for his, his name's name sake. sake. Amen. We said you should petition him and say, Lord, everybody say this. Lord, Lord, Lord fix everything. Fix everything. For me. For me. And for your name's sake. For your name's sake. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Father. And amen. 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 Glory <laughs> be to God. We then read what is known as the Lord's Prayer in Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 10 to look at God's passion and saw that he doesn't tell us to pray to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Instead, he tells us to pray that heaven will come to, to earth. earth. Amen. Yes. In verse 10, Jesus said, your kingdom come, Father, mm -hmm. who is Abba. Mm -hmm. Your perfect will be done, Father, who is Abba. Yes. In the colony, what's the colony? Earth. earth. 
just like it is in a home country where yeah, it's heaven. heaven. It's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. We said that God's passion is that heaven be manifested on the earth. Yes. Not for you to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Last week we told you that you came from heaven. That's right. And everybody that would ever walk this earth was first in the mind of God. Right. We came yes. from heaven. Right. You know, that's the first birth is in the mind of God. We talked about the three births. The second birth is in the womb of your mother. Right. And everyone has to come that way, including Jesus, came through the womb of Mary. Right. The third birth is to be born again Amen. from Amen. above. Amen. So we said if you think you are from, from earth, you are only as rich as the earth. Mm -hmm. You are limited by earth's resources. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We said that you must change your mind yes. and listen to the voice of God. Mm -hmm. His passion is that you seek his kingdom, the country of heaven, the government of heaven, to be manifested in the earth. Mm -hmm. We also reminded you that membership is not citizenship. Let me say that again. Mm -hmm. membership, membership is, is not, not citizenship. citizenship. These terms are distinctly different yes. and completely different. Yes. Last week we said kingdoms are like other nations. They do not have members. Mm. They have citizens. Mm -hmm. yes. We said if heaven is a country, we read in Hebrews chapter 11, then countries don't have members. Mm -hmm. And heaven is a country. Right. So countries don't have members. Mm -hmm. Now, religions have members, mm -hmm. but kingdoms have what? Citizens. citizens. Amen. We said in a country, you are a member, but not of the country. I want you to get this. You are a member of your family. That's yeah. right. Remember, membership has to do with relationship. Right. Yes. Citizenship has to do with authority, yes. power, and legal status. Yes. We said that you cannot get anything from a true, true, I'm saying a true government because <laughs> you are related to people in it. Mm. You can't make a demand from the government because your uncle is a president. No, you mm. cannot. We said you get things from a government because, let me say a true government, because of legal rights and your citizenship status according to the, the Constitution, Constitution, which is the Bible. Yes. That's our Constitution, that's, is the Bible. That's right. Yes. Last week we said there is no power in membership. Mm -hmm. God is very clear. We said citizenship is the legal covenant between the individual in the Constitution. Amen. Citizenship is your relationship with a government. That's right. Wow. We said that only nations have the legal component of citizenship. Mm. We concluded that we are citizens of a nation because a kingdom is a country and a country has citizens. A country has citizens. Yes. We said if you are in the kingdom of God, you are a citizen of a nation. Mm -hmm. And your citizenship is registered in Heaven. Amen. Amen. We then Amen. read Luke chapter 19, verse 12 through 14, where Jesus talks about a country in the parable of the talents, and the parallel to it um, is what happened in Genesis. Yes. Mm -hmm. In verse 12, Jesus says that the kingdom of God is like a certain nobleman who went into a far country. Mm -hmm. We say that Jesus was referring to Genesis chapter 1 and 2, when God created the earth and place mankind here to rule the earth for him. Mm -hmm. Then 4,000 years later, he comes back to the colony to get his kingdom back. Yes. Mm. We said that the far country is referring to planet earth or the colony of heaven. Yeah. Jesus explains how the conditions of mankind and the earth arrive to be in the state they are in now. Mm. We said God made a planet mm. called earth. He is the noble man, yes. and he put mankind on the planet to dominate, control, and rule earth. Mm. God wanted mankind to do business for him on the planet earth. So in Genesis chapter 1 and 28, he tells man to do what? Be fruitful, fruitful. which means to be productive. That's right. To multiply, which means to increase, increase in numbers, and to subdue the earth, which means to dominate, control, to manage, to rule the earth, yeah. or to take control of your environment. Yes. In Genesis chapter 3, mankind kicked God out of the colony when he disobeyed God's command. Mm -hmm. It was almost like he kicked God out. That's right. what he did. He did, did, in essence. Yeah. And in verse 13, Jesus says that the nobleman called his ten servants. Referring to mankind. mankind. Yeah. And he delivered unto them 10 pounds. This is money. Right, right. He told them to occupy the place until I come back. Mm. Remember, 
Genesis 1 and 26, God said, let them have dominion of the earth, over the earth, the fish, the, the birds, the creeps, mm -hmm. the planet, and everything in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Last week we told you that the word occupy not only means to possess, mm -hmm. it also means to do business, yes. mm -hmm. administrate, take control, uh -huh. and rule the planet. Mm -hmm. wow. Then the nobleman then says, I'm coming back okay. to check to see how well you did in this assignment. Mm -hmm. In verse 14, Jesus says that the citizens hated the nobleman. Mm -hmm. Wow. Last week we pointed out that he did not say his members of his church hated him. Uh oh. He said that his citizens hated him. Mm -hmm. They sent a message to him, the nobleman, to say, We will not have this man to reign over us. We said when Adam and Eve ate from the tree that God instructed them not to eat from, they were sending a message to him. Mm -hmm. They were saying, we don't want to obey you. Mm -hmm. We don't want to listen to you, God. Mm -hmm. wow. We're going to eat what you told us not to eat. eat. Mm -hmm. wow. So in the parable of the talents, the servants were saying to the nobleman, we will not have this man rule over us. Mm -hmm. We said the parallel in chapter 3 is that Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. who represent mankind, mm -hmm. yeah. excommunicated God from his own colony. Wow. They kicked Jehovah out of his own earth. Mm -hmm. wow. We said that this is what mankind continues to do today. Mm -hmm. Kick God mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. of every area of their life. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like we said, some people don't even talk to God in a week or right. a month. Maybe or a years. year. Right. Years. Right. right. Years. Because a lot of people think that they're God themselves. They're self-sufficient. Right. Yeah. They, they That's what they're because of their finances. Exactly. Right. 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 They're self, like you said, self-sufficient. We can't and make we it can't. in this earth without them. That's no, right. We cannot. And in the end, you're going to see, because the Bible says in the end, every knee shall bow, bow and every tongue shall confess yes. that Jesus Christ yes. is, is Lord. Lord. That's right. And that word Lord means owner mm. of everything. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. We said here in America, people have removed God from government and schools. Mm -hmm. and we know this. Mm -hmm. We have allowed the separation of God in our earthly government. When, when, when this earth was never, never created to be governed, um, governed without God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mankind mm -hmm. needs... How can it be governed without God and he created everything? So right. mankind needs to be governed. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Mankind needs to be governed. And it's, it was established that way from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Right. But the government that mankind was supposed to be governed by was always the government of God. Right. Exactly. And so when they excommunicated him away from the colony, right. they they created their own form of government. Right. Right. And like we yeah. said, the first act of that government was what? The man blamed the woman. Right. Domestic, domestic violence. violence. Domestic violence. The next right. thing was a brother killed a brother. Right. right. And brothers are still killing brothers today. Right. Which is why no government on earth will ever solve the human problem. They can't. And they people can. have been searching for that. Yeah. The perfect government. Mm -hmm. Right. Or the utopia mm -hmm. for years, for centuries, since the beginning. That right. they're searching for it. And all kinds of philosophers have come up with. I remember studying this in school. Yeah. All types of yeah. philosophers came up with different thoughts and ideas and theories about what's right. the best mm -hmm. type of government yeah, yeah. for mankind. And right. the only type of government that none of them talked about was, was God's government. Was God's government. And, right. and, and the, the, the unfortunate thing, because most of those things you learn about in school, especially those philosophies, it comes from the Greek culture. Right. Mm -hmm. Those Greek yes. philosophies. And it's right. the Greek philosophies that are still ruling the world today. Exactly. Yeah. Right. You know, which is unfortunate. Right. You look at, I mean, I even look at, you know, I listen here, you know, everybody knows I look at the news a lot. Um, but even what's happening in the city, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're talking right. about in Baltimore mm -hmm. City, for example, there are over 300 murders mm -hmm. yeah. again this year, and the year's not even ended yet. Right. And so they're looking at this plan to fight crime. Mm -hmm. They're looking for the commissioner to right. have this wonderful plan. Right. They're blaming it on the leadership, you know, right. Right. they're they blaming blame it on, it on somebody else. everybody, right. but right. mankind, this problem was not created, you know, at a, at a level of mankind. Therefore, right. mankind cannot, cannot, cannot solve, solve the problem. Right. Exactly. And so you can continue to point fingers and blame everybody, right. but it's never going to be solved until you go back to the creator yes. who created 
everything right. and knows how to fix it. Exactly. Because we can't, exactly. we cannot do it. The Bible says without God, you can do nothing. Exactly. We can't do it without him. Yeah. We, and God has been trying to pull us to him and pull, mm -hmm. come on, my son, come on, my daughter. Right. We keep saying later, later, later. <laughs> After a while, the, the, the scripture says that my spirit will not always strive. strive with God. That's right. You know, and God will let you have it your way. Genesis. Yeah, you know, because correct. he knows that you can't do it. Another example is Remember when Jesus went was um, going to pray, and he mm -hmm. told his disciples, he said, "I want you to stay awake and and and, and pray while mm -hmm. I go away." Mm -hmm. He came back three times, and they were, and they they were asleep. asleep. And yeah. he said, "You can't stay awake for just a little while." Mm -hmm. And then the third time, he came back and he looked at them, and they couldn't handle it. Maybe they wanted to, but they couldn't. And you know what he told them? Sleep, sleep on, on. just yeah. go sleep. And that's what he's probably telling us now. You're not coming to me, just go ahead and sleep on. Because wow. you're not going to get the right way, the right thing to do right. unless you put your hand in God's hand. Because right. he's the guiding force and a guiding light of our life. Right. Like his disciples said, who when they asked, when he asked them, who, you know, are you, you going to look to? Right. They, they said, who else should we turn to? That's right. Who right. else should we look to? Right. You have power of life and death in your hand. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, you have the keys to eternal life. Uh -huh. So they were saying they knew. That they couldn't go to anybody else but him. Mm -hmm. They right. couldn't go to Caesar, Caesar, or Paul, or nobody in this earth, because this right. earth can't operate without him. Mm -hmm. He's a great. One of his names is. Some people say omniscient. Some mm -hmm. people say that he's omniscient. Yeah. Omni means all. Mm -hmm. Scient is where we get the word science from. Right. right. That means he's the creator of all things, make of all things, know of all things. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he knows our thoughts are far off. Right. He knows what we're going to pray before we even pray. Mm -hmm. So when you're dealing with a God like that, mm -hmm. that created everything and knows our end from our beginning, right. who else should we turn to? Mm -hmm. Right. He already knows what's best for us. Yes. He said he, yes. he said himself, he said, look, I pray above all things above anything else, that you prosper, that you be yes, in no. health, even, even as, as your soul, soul prosper, which is your mind. Exactly. But but if you don't change the way you think it, you can't receive the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. right. That's why you sure Jesus, one of the first things he said in his public speech was repent. repent. Change, change the way that you repent. think. That word repent doesn't mean to run down to the front of the church and, and tell and confess your sins to a pastor or sit in a booth and confess mm -hmm. your sins to a father. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, that word Come repent means to change thinking, the way that you're thinking. Because if you think good things, you're going to do good things. That's if you right. think negative things, you're going to do negative okay. things. Why? Because it's your thoughts that determine your, your actions. Action. Yeah. So the Bible says it like this. Our Father says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so which is his mind, mind, so is right. he. We're not talking about this heart. We're talking about the mind. So is he. Yes. And that's why confession, when, you know, when people look at the word repentance is only only as confession. They go and they'll go to a booth and to a priest and they'll confess, you know, mm -hmm. bless me, Father, for I have sinned, you know. Um, or they'll go down to the front of the aisle and they'll cry and say, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But if they don't change this, right. they're going to go, go back and do the exact same thing, thing right. over again. Right. If they don't change the way they're thinking about right. the situation exactly. that they're saying I'm sorry for mm -hmm. or that they're con confessing, mm -hmm. if, they don't ch if they don't understand that it's wrong right. and they don't change their mind to conform it right. to what's right, they're going to continue to do what's wrong. Exactly. And, and let me just add this mm -hmm. to you, and then we're going to go on. Mm -hmm. Because you have to change. When you when you change, you have to change from your heart. Right. God's looking at the heart. Right. He's not looking at the outward appearance. Exactly. He's looking at your heart. Because a lot of people say, God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And mm -hmm. the reason they're saying is that is because they got caught. caught. Yeah. If they hadn't gotten caught, they would, they they would they still go on to do the same thing. Exactly. Right. Exactly. exactly. Mm. That's why I remember my pastor, Pastor John Cherry, said that wow. he, he was afraid of a cure for AIDS before repentance. <laughs> yeah. Because what happens is, if, at, well, as long as they come up with a cure yep. to, 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 to stop certain diseases from spreading, they'll keep on, they'll keep on doing it. Exactly. And you see, we have seen that each disease is getting increasingly worse. Right. And worse yeah. and worse. To some strands, they don't have no cure for it. Yeah. Right. That's right. They don't have any cure. That's right. So let's get back. Amen. 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 <laughs> so we have allowed the separation of God wow. and our earthly government. When this earth was never, never created to be governed without oh, God. God. Never ever. We Ooh. said when mankind disobeyed oh. God and kicked oh. them out of the colony, mankind 
had to form its own government. You mm -hmm. just talked about mm -hmm. that. Right. And the first act in the new government was domestic <laughs> violence. We read Genesis chapter 3, verses 8 through 12, mm -hmm. and saw immediately mm -hmm. after the fall, Adam tells God that he blames the woman mm -hmm. that he gave him for the trouble. God wow. didn't give her that woman. That's right. He didn't give her that woman. He put her on display. He put her on display. Come on. And he chose. He chose. Amen. He said, whoa, man. Amen. We said that men are still doing this today, mm. blaming their wives for many of their problems. Mm. We read Genesis 2, 2, chapter 2, verses 21 through 24, and said, God never gave Eve to Adam. Mm. Never. Wow. We said that Adam said these things, not God. Right. However, when the fall occurred, Adam blamed God for the woman mm. he gave him. Mm. Last wow. week we said God made mankind a free moral agent. Right. Yes. God did not, nor will he choose your mate. That's right. He mm. said mm. that God gave mankind his truth. Yep. yep. A brain to process the truth mm -hmm. and a will to choose what is right and wrong That's based right. on the truth. That's yeah. right. Yeah. We said he also gives you the Holy Spirit, who is a governor. Mm -hmm. He gives you his word. He gives mm -hmm. you his anointing. He gives you pastors to teach you his word. Mm -hmm. Looking back on Luke 19 and 15 in the King James uh, Version, Jesus says, and it came to pass that when he was returning, or when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Mm -hmm. By trading. Mm -hmm. Right. Last week we said the parallel of what Jesus is referencing is that the nobleman, who is God, mm -hmm. is coming back to the colony, earth, mm -hmm. that he was kicked out of, mm -hmm. and he is bringing his government back, back to, to the, the earth. Mm -hmm. We said he is also coming to see mm -hmm. how well his citizens have treated his planet. Wow. His planet. Wow. It's his planet. That's right. We ask, does earth look like heaven today? No. Nope. Mm. There are bars on the windows, alarm systems installed in homes. Mm -hmm. People have locks on their doors and guns in their houses and mm -hmm. homes. Women are carrying mace in their purses. And every day there's murder, multiple murders multiple. in this city, mm -hmm. as well as many others. Yeah. Every time we turn the news on, it's, it's murders. About murder. yeah. Yeah. People are afraid to jog outside because of crime and the level of evil that exists yeah. today. Mm -hmm. So they buy a treadmill or go to the health clubs to remain in a secure environment. Mm -hmm. People are even afraid to get married mm -hmm. because there is so much disaster around marriages. Mm -hmm. There are so many failed marriages. Yes. Failed marriages. People are afraid to trust. Wow. People are afraid to let their children visit certain family members because they might be abused. And we talked about that last yeah. week. Mm -hmm. There is so much fear. Wow. So the question is, does it look like heaven on earth? No. no nope. nope. What have we done with his planet? Mm. And we, we're, we're going to have to answer, answer for that. For we're going to be accountable for that. You know, mm -hmm. we said when someone gives you money to invest, they expect a return on their investment yes. or an appreciation of their money. They want it to grow. Right. Last week, we said when God created the planet, the last word that he said was, it, it is, is good. good. Yes. He said, it is good. We asked, how are we doing with it? Mm. Is it still good? <laughs> is it still good? Like our father said, it is wow. good. Is it still good? Mm. No. Wow. The answer is no. We yeah. have lost his, the nobleman's, God's money. Wow. The business has failed. Mm -hmm. We have no return on his investments to show him mm. or, to, or, or to reveal to him. Mm. Wow. Therefore, we said he came back himself because he knows that we can't fix things by ourselves. No, God knew it. Yes. He knew it. He knew it from the very beginning. We can't do it. We said this is why mm -hmm. we need Jesus. Mm -hmm. Christ came back to the territory to save us from ourselves. Yes. This is why it is called salvation. salvation. Yeah. He came back to salvage mankind because mm -hmm. every government mankind tries to produce is not working. We just talked about right. that. Yeah. 
So God made a promise in Isaiah 7, 14. Mm -hmm. He said, a virgin shall be with child. Right. And in Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 through 7, mm -hmm. he said, this child is bringing something on his shoulders. Yes. yes. And you will call this child God in a man's body. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Because Emmanuel means God in a man. That's what yes. Jesus was. Mm -hmm. He was God in a man. And unto you, unto you, a child will be born, and unto you, a son will be given. Amen. And he's coming with the government, just not any government, but the, the government, T-H-E. And he's coming back with the government that mankind lost. Mm -hmm. Not a religion, mm -hmm. but a government. Mm -hmm. And his name shall be called, listen, wonderful. wonderful. Why? Yes. Because you need joy. Mm. <laughs> Counselor, why? Because you need counseling. Yes. And they need it over at the White House right now. Mm. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. yes. The whole everything. Yes. The, go the government, the Senate, yes. the uh, um, Democratic Party, mm. the Republic, Republic everybody. Yes. Everybody need counseling. But they don't need just any counseling. They need the counseling from the Lord. Yes. Yes. The owner. Yep. Amen. Amen. The mighty God. Why? You have no source. Mm. The everlasting Father, why? You need sustain. Mm. He's Abba, right. which means source, source sustainer, sustain. supplier, yes. nourisher. Yes. And he's the Prince of Peace. Why? Because the streets are full of violence. Mm. And you need shalom peace, mm. which means wholeness, completeness, soundness of mind, yes. body, and spirit. Yes. Nothing missing, nothing lacking, or broken in your life. Mm. Yes. You, we, I. All need this. Amen. Yes, amen. When he comes of the increase of his government and peace, that mm -hmm. it shall bring, that that it shall bring, mm -hmm. there shall be no end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We ended by letting you know that he has already come to bring the government with the country, which mm -hmm. is heaven, to mm -hmm. solve all your problems. Amen. He says, I'm in the best of you. I'm fully briefed. Mm -hmm. Every question, every problem you have, I have the answers. Mm -hmm. I'm fully briefed. I'm waiting in the rest of you, mm. but you have to call on him. You have to seek him early in the morning. Amen? Yes, amen. It is called the kingdom of God, and your citizenship in this country matters to him. Mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. amen. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you, Daddy. Amen. Well, We're going to thank well, the Lord. Amen. <laughs> amen. For that powerful review. Um, again, all of our videos, if you missed it last week, we did just do the review, but all of our videos are saved on Facebook Amen. and on YouTube. So if you missed it, I urge you to go back and watch it. Amen. Yes. yes. Amen. Mm. So now let's move on to part three of the kingdom principle of citizenship. Amen. Mm. Mm. So every kingdom citizen today is a naturalized citizen in the country called heaven. heaven. Mm. Amen. They're naturalized citizens. We immigrated E M. I G R A T E D mm -hmm. from a foreign country, a dominion of darkness, wow. where we as a race have been exiled ever since mm -hmm. Adam's rebellion in the Garden of Eden. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. wow. I'm going to ask my mother to go to Colossians 1 mm -hmm. and read verses 9 through 14 because it talks about this in that setting mm -hmm. of scripture. Amen. 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 And I'm going to be reading from the NIV version today. Amen. 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 So this is um, the the, Coloss the Colossians, Paul talking to the Colossians. Mm -hmm. um, he says here, for this reason, mm. since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. Mm. We continually ask God to do what? To fill you with knowledge. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Knowledge of his will yeah. through all wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives, so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please Him in every way, mm -hmm. bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to His glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience, mm -hmm. and giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. Mm. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness, mm. amen, amen, and brought us into the kingdom of his son who he loves and whom we have redemption 
the forgiveness of sins. Amen. 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 Thank you for reading. Mm -hmm. So at that time, at the time of Adam and Eve's rebellion, mm -hmm. mankind, mankind lost citizenship yes. in heaven. Yes. Mm -hmm. We lost our citizenship in heaven. Mm -hmm. And we lost our citizenship because we lost our kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We lost our kingdom because we lost our property, mm -hmm. our territory, mm -hmm. our domain. We mm -hmm. lost it. Mm -hmm. We gave up rights to it when we disobeyed God right, right. and kicked him out of his country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you will recall from our lesson on kingdom domain right. that without territory or domain to rule, there is no, no kingdom. kingdom. That's, That's right. right. Because kingdom is king domain That's put right. together. King, king, king over domain. 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 Exactly. exactly. So without a kingdom, there can be no kingdom citizenship. Wow. And there can be no king without right. domain That's right. That's right. at all. And so we were we were demoted, for lack of a better term, to right. a kingdom of darkness, mm -hmm. a kingdom yes. of ignorance. Mm -hmm. You know, a mm. lack of knowledge and understanding of the original intent and purpose mm -hmm. for the creation of the world, the earth itself, mm -hmm. the systems that operate on this earth, mm -hmm. and, 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 and even the creation of mankind. Yes. So when you are ignorant of a thing, abuse is inevitable. Yes. Right? And that's the dominion, that's, a, that's the system that ruled our lives. Yes. A dominion of darkness. Mm. Mm -hmm. and he's saying that he delivered us. He rescued us from, from a kingdom, the dominion, dominion of, of darkness. darkness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And brought us into his marvelous light. Which right. is the knowledge of the truth. Yes. You right. know, that light doesn't mean a light bulb. Right. 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 That light means a revelation of the knowledge of truth. And the truth is his original information, the original intent and purpose for all things. Yes. Right. That's what he rescued. No. Mm -hmm. Rescued. He rescued yes. us right. too right. so that we would come into the knowledge of, of, of the kingdom of light. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so we, we don't do. have to remain in darkness Amen. anymore. Exactly. We do not have to. If you do not want to remain in darkness or ignorance, that's right. You do not have to because right. he has already done the work to rescue us from it He's so that we can be in right. the kingdom of light. And if you and if you stay in, in the dark too long. It will cause destruction mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. eventually death mm -hmm. yes. because you don't have the wisdom, the knowledge, or the understanding. It's almost like if I don't have understanding about electricity and mm -hmm. I go over oh. and turn the electricity off with wet hands, I'm going to mm -hmm. nine times out of ten get shot. Yeah. And that not understanding could cause my death. That's right. right. That's right. Or destruction to my life. Right. But We've been handicapped my life. That's right. right. That's why Hosea 4 6 says people are destroyed for well, lack, lack of knowledge. Of knowledge. Lack you of know. knowledge. Mm. And, I, and I know a friend of ours that, that, that passed that was electrocuted, you know, mm. because of wet hands. Yeah. And they probably done it like a whole lot of times. You know, a lot of times people wash their hands and need to click the light and they just click the light real quick. And they've done it, even though they know that's wrong. Right. And, and I did it when I was a child until I went to Washington, D.C. at my aunt's house. And I don't know what the electricity was there. But that electricity was strong. And I hit that thing. And, it, and I could feel it. And I'm like, well, I need to dry my hands. <laughs> For sure. But, you know, but that's how people do with life. They yep. keep doing it, thinking they could get away with right. it. Right. Yeah. Right. Knowing what's right, but they keep doing it over exactly. and over and over. Yeah. It's, like, it's almost like playing Russian roulette. Right. With you your know, life. You know it's wrong, right. but you keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you you know, the deception is, oh, I got away with it this time. Yeah. Right. Oh, I can get away with it right. again. Right. And then I'm going to keep getting away with right. it. Right. But, but then when they get caught, yeah. oh, That's I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because if you, you think about you got it, caught. Right. You know, if you really think about it, most people do their dirt in, in the, the dark. dark. Mm -hmm. You know? But but the but the Lord dark. says that there's coming in the last days there's mm -hmm. coming a time when the things that people will do in the dark is going to be revealed from the rooftop. From the rooftop. Yes. Because he said darkness is just like, like daylight light. to him. Exactly. And the reason being is because he knows what you're going to do before you do it. Right. So if you go in the bathroom in the dark and or in the back in the corner in the dark and try to do something you're not supposed to do, he already he knew you were going to do it before you did it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you're not fooling him. How can you fool yourself. him when the scripture, the Holy Bible, the scripture tells us that he knows you're in from the, from the beginning. beginning. He knows everything about you. Matter of fact, he wrote the book. We're doing a study now that you're in the book mm -hmm. that he wrote. That's right. And it's called the book of you. Yes. Amen. Yes. And it's in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wow. So again, without a kingdom, there can be no citizenship. Mm. And we lost our citizenship when we kicked God out and disobeyed mm -hmm. his laws. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So when Jesus mm. Christ began his public ministry, we talked about this hand office many times. Mm -hmm. In Matthew chapter 4, he announced that the kingdom of heaven had arrived. That's right. Mm -hmm. It arrived. It's already here. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. So Jesus brought back to the earth the kingdom that we, mankind, mm -hmm. lost mm -hmm. at Eden. Mm -hmm. right. He gave us access to it once again. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We enter the kingdom of heaven through the process that Jesus called being born again. Okay. Born again. And we want to read about it. He was talking to Nicodemus about it. Mm -hmm. Well, some people say, y'all say, Nick, Nick at night. <laughs> late night. So Amen. I want to ask my mother to read John chapter 3 mm -hmm. and we're going to read verses 1 through 8. Amen. Amen. And I'm reading again from the NIV version and it says Jesus teaches Nicodemus. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Jesus replied, very truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Mm. How can someone be born when they are old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. Mm -hmm. He said, you should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. Mm -hmm. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So is it with everyone born of the Spirit. Amen. 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 You need to read that whole chapter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. I say Jesus was shady. He was very he, shady. Nicodemus, he said, Nicodemus, I talk in, in layman's terms. He mm -hmm. said, I'm talking to you mm -hmm. in natural terms, mm -hmm. and you don't understand it. Right. So how can I explain something to you in spiritual, spiritual terms, terms when right. you don't even ex understand natural right. terms? But listen exactly. to this in verse 10. He says, you are Israel's teacher, Jesus said. Right. And you do not understand these things? <laughs> right. Right. Uh, yeah. He said, you're a teacher. You don't understand. You know, how is it possible you're a teacher and you don't understand these things? Right. He's not understanding the kingdom. If the teacher don't know, then you're in trouble. The blind leave the blind, right? Exactly. Oh, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Jesus was shady yesterday. <laughs> so being born again... <laughs> means to change your mind mm -hmm. thinking and turn away from rebellion against God, God. Amen. Mm -hmm. and placing your trust in Jesus mm -hmm. for the for the forgiveness of your rebellion mm -hmm. and acknowledge him as your Lord mm -hmm. or owner of your life. Mm -hmm. And this new birth gets you into the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. We just read it. Jesus mm -hmm. just said it. Many believers call this being saved, mm -hmm. but it may be more helpful to think of the new birth as the naturalization wow. process by which you become a, a kingdom citizen. citizen. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's right. So the new birth or the naturalization process naturalizes you in a sense that it returns you to your original natural state mm. of authority and dominion over the earth mm -hmm. as God intended from the beginning. Wow, right. wow. Right. and you wow. know what? That's why Jesus came back. He came back to restore us back to our original position that we have with God the Father yes. before the fall. That's yes. right. As God. That was, yes. So that whole, as God. Yes. that whole plan, you go back and you read Genesis 3.15, Mm -hmm. God put the plan immediately in place. Mm -hmm. From that point, from Genesis 3.15 up until the time Jesus returned, all of that, those, those 4,000 years in between where, um, where it's actually you know, 4,000 from, from the time that Adam sent to the, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. Mm -hmm. Everything from that point forward was to get his government back in the earth. Right. Yes. Right. Everything. Everything. So mm -hmm. when you read all of those Old Testament scriptures, the mm -hmm. prophets are, are prophesying about yep. what? The coming, the coming, the coming Messiah. Yeah. Right. He's coming. Yeah. He's coming. Yeah. Everything was about he's coming. He's yes. coming. 
Mm -hmm. And that's exactly yeah. everything. So when you read the Bible, if you don't understand that, you miss all of those stories, mm -hmm. even in the Old Testament scriptures. Right. right. All of it's pointing to the, the coming Messiah to right. return God's government back right. to the earth. Because he wasn't coming back to, to take you to heaven. That's right. He was coming back to bring the government back that we lost. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Come on, wow! Say that again. Because he could have, he could have, he could have stopped everything right then and there and said, "Okay, shop yeah. closed, right? Done. Her closed down, it's done. People deal. gone. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, no mm -hmm. more." He could have took everybody back to heaven then. Right. Exactly. But he didn't do that. He didn't do that because his purpose from the beginning has not changed. Exactly. He wants Earth to be ruled by mankind mm -hmm. with the influence of his government right. on this earth. Right. Yes. And so everything he's done was to get us back to the original purpose right. that he planned for us here on this earth. Right. Yes. yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Because from the beginning, the Bible is about the celestial colonization of the terrestrial. terrestrial. Yes. Terra is dirt and dust. That's, That's right. us. Yes. Celestial is spiritual, invisible, you know, that's what he's talking about. Yeah, that's right. why Jesus told his disciples to pray this. This is one of the most important prayers. He said, our father, mm -hmm. who's not on earth. That's why? Right. Because he's in heaven. heaven right. Hallowed or holy. holy the word name. hallowed means holy. Right. Yeah. Is your name. Right. Thy kingdom come. Mm -hmm. His yeah. will be done. Yeah. Not in heaven, but on earth. That's right. Just like it is in heaven. That's right. So God's, and we've said this many, many times before. Earth was supposed to be, a, or should have been, a colony of heaven. Yes. You know, and, and when God created the earth, the earth was supposed to be a mirror reflection of heaven. heaven. Exactly. So when you look in the mirror, what you see on one side, you should see completely exactly on the other side, exactly. precisely mm -hmm. on the other side. Mm -hmm. But when we look in the mirror, we just ask, is heaven, like God said, is one of the last things he said, it's earth? good. Right. It's good. Right. But can we say it's good now? No, we can. Look at the earth? No, we cannot. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. wow. So again, the new birth or the naturalization process naturalizes you in a sense that it returns you to your original or natural state mm -hmm. of authority and dominion over the earth mm -hmm. as God intended from the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what he told Adam and Eve in Genesis mm -hmm. 126. Mm -hmm. That's what he told them. That's have what dominion. he had dominion over the earth. That's mm -hmm. right. So during the naturalization process, you align yourself with the new government right. and the new country that you're that you become a citizen right. of. Right. And you begin to embrace its language, mm -hmm. its principles, mm -hmm. its standards, its culture, right. its ethics, mm -hmm. and its values. Yes. Right. So the Kingdom Constitution, the Bible, mm -hmm. is explicit regarding your citizenship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Bible states that you are no longer foreigners and aliens, mm -hmm. but fellow citizens with God's people and members of God's household. And we're going to read that scripture. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask my father to go to Ephesians chapter 2 mm -hmm. and read verse 19. Mm -hmm. Okay, 2 and 19. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ephesians 2 and 19, and it reads as such. Now, therefore... Ye are no more strangers and foreigners, mm -hmm. but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Amen. 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 Thank you for reading. Amen. So it tells you right there, you are citizens in the kingdom of heaven or citizens of heaven. Amen. And the Bible, the good God, he doesn't just tell you something once. Mm -hmm. He showed, especially in the Bible. He doesn't just say it once. You can find it multiple times throughout the Bible. So the Bible bears witness that your mm -hmm. citizenship is in heaven. I'm going to ask my father again now mm -hmm. to go to Philippians 3 mm -hmm. and read verse 20. And mm -hmm. it says almost the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It says, for our conversation is in heaven, mm -hmm. from whence also we look for the Savior. Mm. The Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Amen. Amen. Can I read that in the NIV version? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. In the NIV version, it says, but our citizenship is in heaven. Mm. But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so people need to understand that when it talks about your citizenship in heaven, that doesn't mean you have to die and leave this earth mm -hmm. to go to heaven to be a citizen. No. You no. are a citizen of heaven in this earth. Amen. If you are born again, 
and you are filled with God's spirit, mm -hmm. you are a citizen of heaven. Amen. Right. That's Amen. why we said a couple of weeks ago you had dual citizenship. That's right. right. A person that has dual citizenship, if I go to Canada and go through the process mm -hmm. to become a citizen in Canada, mm -hmm. even though I'm in Canada, mm -hmm. my original home country is yes. America, America, and I yeah. still have my citizenship exactly. in America. Right. So it's the exact same thing mm -hmm. with us with us having this dual citizenship. Right. I don't have to go to heaven mm -hmm. to be a citizen. I already right. came from heaven. Right. 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 I That's already right. came from That's there. Right. So my citizenship is there, but right. I live in earth and I right. have citizenship in, in the earth places. as well. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, you know, if, I don't understand why this is such a foreign concept to people mm -hmm. when they study the Bible. Mm. It shouldn't be a forereign concept because but, we see it we separate. We separate so much. Yeah. And, and it, it's, it's foreign because simply it hasn't been taught. Right. Mm. The kingdom We're hasn't been religion. taught. Most people who've grown up in a democracy, mm -hmm. they, they don't understand a kingdom. Right. Mm -hmm. But the Bible is about a kingdom and a king and his royal family, which includes all of us right. who right. receive Yeshua Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Right. And and not only have we grown up in a democracy, if you've grown up in the church mm -hmm. and you haven't been taught right. that the kingdom is not a religion, but it's a country. That's mm -hmm. Right. It's it's like doubly foreign to you. Right. right. You know? Right. And it's hard to change something change that you've grown up in a culture to believe yeah. for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 50 years. Yeah, it's right. hard to change when the truth comes. Yeah. That's why Jesus says, uh, he, he stresses it hard. He says, but if you know the truth, the truth is the true. truth that's going to make you free. Exactly. Yes. You know? Exactly. So you can't continue to hold on to religion. And that's why so many younger people, not younger people, middle aged, a lot of people just leaving the church. Because in order for us to get what God has for us, we have got to get away from dead religiosity mm -hmm. and start moving up under the anointing, the guidance, and the direction of the Spirit of God. Yeah. And he's teaching about the kingdom. It's the governor comes to teach you about the king's kingdom. kingdom. Exactly. Yeah. So, so why do we think, so even looking at the New Testament scriptures, when you look at when Jesus, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, when when Jerusalem was under Roman rule, mm -hmm. you know, it's no coincidence that it's that 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 we read about it the way we read about it. Jerusalem was under Roman rule. Mm -hmm. Caesar was the the emperor mm -hmm. of Rome. Right. He was not in Jerusalem. He lived in Rome. Mm -hmm. Yet Jerusalem was under Roman rule. Yeah, and because exactly. it was under Roman rule, they the governor, Pontius Pilate, was there to make Jerusalem just like Rome. Exactly. Right. So yeah, they exactly. so that's where the certain saying came from, what did Rome do as the Romans do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you were in a Roman territory, you yeah, had to, to do the what the Roman territory right. what right. the Roman rules right. Said to do. Or you exactly. would be in prison, exactly. or you would Put be killed, or exactly. you would be beheaded. Yes. So, so the Romans were they rude, rude, rude yeah. people. Yeah. Yes. So, so you have to understand that the Bible is written the way it is written to provide examples. Yes. You know that's why Jesus did not return to the earth until the Roman rule. Right. Because the Romans had colonized mm -hmm. Jerusalem. Right. Mm -hmm. They had made the people that lived mm -hmm. in that territory conform to Roman rule. Right. Exactly. And they were one of the first people to do that. Yes. yes. You know, they copied yes. the Greeks now, but they took what the Greek what they learned from the Greeks and yes. perfected it. Yes. yes. And nobody has been prominent as far as ruling everything but the Romans. Exactly. Or like, not even the United States. Because at yeah. that time, they ruled most of what, what was known. They, they, they exactly. ruled, they had colonized the most world. of the known world. Right. Exactly. Mm, mm, mm. So anyway, wow. I know we can go so many directions with this, mm -hmm. but you know, prayerfully what we are sharing and examples are helping you to unlock those blockages yeah. in your mind and understand that this Bible is not about a religion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The kingdom is a government. The heaven is a real place. Yes. Right. It's a country. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that country's desire, the king of that country of heaven's desire has always been to colonize this physical earth, earth. Mm -hmm. with 
the rule of heaven yes. manifested yes. on the earth right. through you and I. Yes. Right? And that's what he still wants. That's right. what he still wants. And it's not going to change. No. Nope. Why would he even build, create the earth? You know? Right. If he if he wanted us to stay in heaven, why would he even create the earth? Yeah. Another thing is, it. if the only reason that we were created was to go to heaven, then God would have kept us up there with him because that's, that's right. where we came from. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. So he right. created the earth so that the earth would be a mirror reflection in a culture just like heaven. Mm -hmm. And he put us that in his the kingdom would come on earth. Just he says it, yeah, just yeah. like it is in heaven. That's right. My kingdom come. His because he's a king, he wants his will done on the earth, right? Just, just like, like it is heaven, in heaven operates. Exactly. exactly. The government of heaven. Exactly. He wants the government of heaven on this earth. Yes. Mm, mm, wow. Wow. Mm. We go on and on and on. Yeah. On and on and on to the break of dawn. <laughs> 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 We're not doing that today. <laughs> so again, your citizenship is in heaven. Mm -hmm. And we just read in Colossians 1 that God himself has rescued us from what? The dominion, dominion of darkness. darkness. Mm -hmm. And has brought you and I, all of mankind, mm -hmm. into the kingdom of the son whom he loves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes. not only does the new birth mean born again or naturalization mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. make you a citizen of the country of heaven, mm -hmm. but it also makes you a citizen immediately. Wow. Mm. Immediately. Wow. So again, you don't have to wait till you die and mm -hmm. go to right. heaven. You become right. a citizen. Mm -hmm. When you become a naturalized citizen, when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. you immediately become mm -hmm. a citizen of the kingdom. Exactly. You are a kingdom citizen right now. That's right. Mm -hmm. Your citizenship is present, is a present reality. Mm -hmm. And you are a fellow citizen with God's people. Amen. Mm -hmm. wow. Again, your citizenship is in heaven. Wow. God has brought you into the kingdom. We just read it mm -hmm. into the kingdom of His Son. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. He said that. What did He say? He said, "I'm, I'm calling you from darkness into His marvelous light." Yes. Exactly. Immediately. Out of yes. Immediately. Immediately. Right. Amen. So why is this so important? It's important because, yet again, here we go. Religion postpones mm. citizenship to the future. Wow. Mm. It postpones it to the future. Mm -hmm. Religious leaders tell people, you'll be a citizen someday mm -hmm. in the sweet, sweet by and by. Mm -hmm. Sweet Ooh, Lord have mercy. How many of you heard that? <laughs> right. <laughs> you'll be in the kingdom, but you have to have you'll have to wait to get your joy later. Mm -hmm. So live miserably now. Right. You'll get your joy later, but right. just go to heaven. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'll be a full citizen, but not today. Not, not yet. yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They even say that the kingdom has not come yet. Exactly. No, they're waiting mm -hmm. for Jesus to return. Exactly. When Jesus clearly said, the kingdom is here. Exactly. I confer on you a kingdom just right. like my father That's conferred right. on me. It's the father's good pleasure to do what? Mm -hmm. Give you the kingdom. Right. To give you the kingdom. And in some scriptures it says that the kingdom is at hand. Exactly. At hand means it's, it's here. here. Right now. Right. When he left, he didn't take it back with him. No. He, he said, receive right. Right, the Holy Ghost. That's right. And that's the governor of the kingdom. Right. right. That's the earth. full embodiment, like you said, that's right. earlier, of the kingdom. That's right. And he had to come back to give it to us because the, the word receive and the word receive means to have. Yes. yes. But because of Adam's, of our four parents' um, sin, Adam and Eve, the, the spirit left them, exactly. you know, so what Jesus came back to do when he breathed in us, he said, receive. He yes. had to cleanse, the devil. Right. He had to cleanse this body. Have yes. again. Sin unrighteousness. Right. So that the Which spirit you have could before. dwell inside of. Exactly. Right. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. So again, they many religious leaders think that the kingdom hasn't come yet. But they are wrong. They're wrong. Mm -hmm. The kingdom has come. Mm -hmm. We just reference many scriptures that talk about it. Mm -hmm. Kingdom citizenship is never postponed. Mm -hmm. It's never postponed. It's always immediate. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God, the government of God, mm -hmm. the ruling authority of God is present and functional on the earth right now. Amen. Now. So if you have been born again, 
then you have been naturalized mm -hmm. and are a kingdom citizen mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. If you have been born again, it means that all the rights all the benefits, mm -hmm. all the privileges mm -hmm. of kingdom citizenship mm -hmm. are yours right now. Amen. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You wow. can enjoy your citizenship right now. Wow. You don't have to wait until some indefinite time in the future to get your citizenship. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can never appropriate what you postpone. Wow. You need to say that again. You can never appropriate or have or receive what you postpone. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is what is called locking up the kingdom of God mm -hmm. to those who want to get it. Mm -hmm. Right. And we read this a couple of weeks ago in Matthew 23 and 13. Jesus tells the scribes and the Pharisees, he says, woe unto you, mm -hmm. which means damn you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For you shut up the kingdom mm -hmm. of heaven against men. Mm -hmm. For you neither go in yourselves, Come on. nor do you allow those who are entering to go in. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I was looking at, after I read that, I was looking at a scripture, it came back to my mind where God says, woe to the shepherds yes. who feed themselves mm -hmm. and not the flock. Mm -hmm. Should not the shepherds feed the, the flock? Mm -hmm. No, because a lot of shepherds are fleecing the flock. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're not yes. telling us, they're doing what they want to do to tell a flock certain things so that they can receive from mm -hmm. the flock. Yes. So they're not teaching the flock the truth. They're teaching them religion, but not the kingdom, mm -hmm. which is the truth. I never understood that so much as mm -hmm. I've understood it now. Jesus said, once you know the truth, the free. truth shall make you free. Well, he's talking about the truth of the kingdom, yes. the gospel yes. of the kingdom. Yes. That's what's going to make you free, not That's religion. True. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. The greatest enemy of the kingdom is religion. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on down. Yeah. It's the greatest enemy of the kingdom. It is. Mm. And the enemy has set it up so cleverly mm. to make you, mm. and he, he doesn't even have to do anything. He's like, oh, you can go on to church. Yes, mm -hmm. You can do, you can be a Christian. Mm -hmm. You can go to church. You can sing on choir. Yeah. You can be an usher. You can be on a ministerial staff. You can do all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And it could be good. Kingdom. Don't teach the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And you could be doing, again, here we go. You could be right doing. Now. A right good thing, thing. Mm -hmm. but it's not the right, it's not it's the right, the right, right thing. thing. There's a difference. There's mm -hmm. a difference between it. And the right thing it's, is the way of the kingdom. And, right. And, and, and right simply means purpose. Purpose is foundational. Mm -hmm. Yes. Purpose is reason. It's original intent. Mm -hmm. It's the original motivation. Purpose is foundational to everything. Yes. Yes. And if you don't know the purpose of a thing, abuse is, is inevitable. inevitable. And so what has happened, you know, the church as it is today is not even structured mm. or mm. functioning like God, Jesus originally intended. intended. Yeah. yeah. He said ecclesia, mm -hmm. you know, and, and so, yeah, we know ecclesia is <coughs> church, mm -hmm. but what he referenced, it has nothing, is nothing like the way the churches exist mm -hmm. today. Right. That's right. Nothing like it. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Mm. So yeah, the greatest enemy of the kingdom is religion. Is religion. And religion keeps pushing the kingdom away from people. Yeah. Mm. Religion tells people you can't get it now. Mm. You can't experience yeah, it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't benefit benefit from it now. Mm -hmm. Wait until later. Mm -hmm. So people suffer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And religious people continue to live defeated destitute and frustrated lives yes wow. mm. because they believe that they have to wait for their reward mm -hmm. and that's what we were right. told you know mm -hmm. that's what you'll we get your taught. reward when you go to heaven right you'll get your reward when you die and go to heaven mm -hmm. you know there's no hope in this earth that's, that's what right. Right. you know there's mm -hmm. no hope you won't mm -hmm. you know and, you know i'll never forget because i you know worked in the church for so many years and um i won't say the name but the bottom line is i remember it was it had a lot of senior citizens mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. church mm -hmm. and um they would be home and sick they would be home and sick and and so they would still send in their 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 dues is mm -hmm. what they call them or mm -hmm. their offerings mm -hmm. because they wanted to be able to when they died had mm -hmm. their funeral in the church mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you know that that was all part of going to heaven mm -hmm. but that was their thinking right, right. you know right. and it's so 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 
it, it had nothing to do with I'm laying here sick and that I have a right to be healed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that mentality did not exist. Right. It didn't exist. Mm -hmm. You know, they were just waiting to die to go to heaven. Right. Mm -hmm. Because that was going to take them out of their, their mm -hmm. situation, mm -hmm. circumstance. That's right. That's so far away from what God originally intended. That was not what Jesus intended when he said on this rock, mm. this boulder of knowledge, mm, mm, you know, mm. that you just said, Peter, mm -hmm. I'm going to build my cabinet or mm -hmm. my church. His right. Ecclesia. His Ecclesia. Ecclesia. His cabinet. His cabinet of people that are responsible for making sure the king's wishes are legislated throughout right. the land. Mm, mm, and we've mm. not done that. No. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. I know. I know. It takes the wind out of you. It does. it does. But you know, can you imagine how God feels? I was yes. thinking that must hurt his heart. Mm -hmm. like, that's an understatement. I mean, because we see it on such a minute scale. Yeah. He sees it worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. And like you said, mm. you know, you tell he says, I'm here and I'm in the I'm in the lobby. I'm in the I'm boardroom. I'm fully yes, briefed. Fully you know, brief. come and ask me. You wow. know, come to me. Yeah. I'm fully briefed. I have everything you need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything, everything you need is in the kingdom. The everything you need. He says, seek first the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Come into the kingdom. And everything you need will be added yeah, unto you. you. Right. Seek first the kingdom. He's yes. telling you how to get the answers. Yeah. He's saying, I have everything you need. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Everything. Mm -hmm. But you have to come to me. Right. right. So Washington, D.C., you have to go to him. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Baltimore City, you need to go yes. to him. Everybody yes. needs to go to him. Yes. Everyone. Amen. So you do not, again, you do not have to wait for your citizenship to be active. Amen. Your citizenship is immediate, and you do not have to wait for your reward. Mm. He said, I pray, like you said again, I pray above all things yeah. that you prosper and, and be in health, health, even, even as, as your soul, soul prosper. prosper. That's your mind. And you don't have to wait to go to heaven. Right. He wasn't thinking about you going to heaven when mm -hmm. he made that statement. Nope. That was for life here in this earth. earth. Everything he did. And he says in his word is for us to be able to live productive, mm -hmm. effective, and successful life here in, in this earth. earth. Yes. Right? Because his reason for creating us was right. to have dominion over, over the, the earth. earth. Right. Mm -hmm. And even though we are going to heaven, we're coming back exactly. to the earth. Exactly. Because this is going to be God's way or no way. You know, you can believe what, what God, the word of God and the kingdom is saying, and you don't have to believe it. Right. You're going to see it for yourself. Amen. But you know, and Dr. Miles says this in one of his teachings, and I'm going to find this. I'm going to find it. Because, you know, because mankind was created to live in this earth. Mm -hmm. You know, he talks about how in the book of Revelations, and we need mm -hmm. to find this, yeah. how the saints in heaven are crying, how long, Lord? That's because right. yes. they're in heaven, but we were created <coughs> to rule. Right. And you right. can't rule nothing in heaven. Right. Because you weren't created to rule no. heaven. No. Heaven is his territory. He can right. handle that. We were created. So when you die and go to heaven, you ain't ruling nothing. And that's, right. what, that's what the scripture says. He heaven belongs, well, heaven and earth belongs to him. But he rules he heaven. And he has earth. given it to I'm gonna man. Find it. We're gonna find it. Mm, mm, mm. Unto man. We're gonna to find do it. the same thing that our father is doing. Wow. You know, and that's why he's training. That's what most uh, most people do, or most men do. They'll train their sons. Mm. You know, and we know the word sons in the Hebrew has nothing to do with gender. It's right. It means uh, mature, mature offspring. offspring. Right. But most young men will change, train their sons to do things, and then they'll watch them yeah. to mm -hmm. see how they're maturing, whether it's playing football or, you know, whatever. When I was coming up, they trained me to say, yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. Right. You right. know, and respect elders. You know, right. and I was told at the dinner table, right. if I ever see you talking back to an adult, I was like, I ain't even thinking about talking back to an adult. <laughs> you know, they would get on and me. And they tell you, don't but, even think Right, about but, they, but they, were, they were, like God says, rear up a child in the, the way, way that he should he go. Should go exactly. So that when he is old, he will not depart. And I grew up in the east side. And it was rough. Mm -hmm. No, it was rough on the east side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, especially because I grew up in the areas, all of areas that was, was pretty tough. Yeah. But they reared me up. And a lot of times the things they were telling me to do, 
I didn't really like it. I even talked back under my voice. Uh, <laughs> you know, under my voice, you hear me? Right. I would have been like, right. I would have been here. I would have been here. And neither would I. But the Lord knew that. He said, no, I got to keep it. Keep your mouth shut. Right. I need you for later on down the road to speak for me about the kingdom. So I can't let your mom take you out. Oh, man. <laughs> she could have. She, uh, she really she could have. <laughs> Oh, wow. Amen. So again, again, mm -hmm. you do not have to wait. Mm -hmm. You do not have to wait Amen. to get your reward. Your reward, <laughs> you can experience the benefits mm -hmm. and access that everything everything Amen. that heaven has in the earth while you're living right now. Amen. 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 So however, we know that when Jesus came to the earth, he came with what? A government. A government. A government. We've the about government. This so many times. Not just a government, like the, you said, but the, the government. Right. And he brought it back so that we could have access to it while right. when? Now. Now. Right now. now. Mm -hmm. now. Kingdom governments exercise jurisdiction over their mm -hmm. citizens. No matter where they are. That's right. That's what you were saying earlier. No matter where they are. Mm -hmm. One of the main purposes that nations maintain embassies mm -hmm. in other countries mm -hmm. is to aid their citizens who are living or traveling away from home. That's mm -hmm. right. Amen. So one of the responsibilities of any government is to take care of its wow. citizens, mm -hmm. whether at home or, or abroad. abroad. Yeah. And so like an example, mm -hmm. if I'm in another country mm -hmm. and something happens to me, if there's an embassy there, I can go to that embassy and that embassy will take care of me. Amen. Right. Amen. That's your right. That's, That's your, your right. 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 Mm. So the church is supposed to be an embassy. Right. Mm. The church is not a religious place. Mm -hmm. When Jesus established his ecclesia, his cabinet, mm -hmm. his called out ones, mm -hmm. he did not have a religious institution in mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His purpose was to set up an embassy of his kingdom, wow. a place where kingdom citizens, new and old, mm -hmm. could receive aid, mm -hmm. be trained in the ways, the mm -hmm. laws, Come the on. language, and the customs of, of the, the kingdom, kingdom that right. they were from. Mm -hmm. His purpose was also that the church would be a place where citizens citizens could be equipped mm -hmm. with the kingdom resources they needed for mm -hmm. effective life in the kingdom colony on earth. And mm -hmm. that's what you just talked about. Mm -hmm. Yes. All citizens, here we go, carry dual, dual citizenship. citizenship. Right. We talked about right. that too. Mm -hmm. Most governments on the earth allow dual citizenship mm -hmm. where citizens of one country may hold simultaneously legal citizenship in another. Right. That's right. So as an example, we talked about this mm -hmm. earlier. Mm -hmm. If you are an American, a Canadian, or a German citizen, mm -hmm. you could become an official legal citizen of the Bahamas without being required to give up your prior citizenship right. in your home country. Mm -hmm. Children, another example, is children who are born to citizens of one country who are living in another country mm -hmm. generally become citizens of both of those countries. Mm -hmm. So an example of this is a case of undocumented immigrants in the, in the United, United States. States right? yeah. And when they are when they have children in the US, the children essentially become citizens of both of the countries. Mm -hmm. So it's no different with the kingdom of heaven. Amen. All kingdom citizens are simultaneously, which means at the same time, mm -hmm. citizens of the kingdom of heaven, mm -hmm. as well as citizens of this earthly nation right. of their birth or their naturalization. Right. So you don't have to give up your earthly citizenship, like we said earlier, when you become citizens of the kingdom. Amen. Amen. You don't have to give it up. You don't have to die and give it up. Mm. <laughs> you can keep it. Wow. You can still be a citizen yeah. in heaven. Amen. Right. Amen. In the same way, you don't have to be in heaven to benefit from heavenly jurisdiction. Amen. Right. Your citizenship is constant. And the kingdom government exercised jurisdiction over wherever, wherever you, are. you are. What does he say in Psalms 91? I will give my angels, my army, a charge, charge over you, over you mm -hmm. to accompany and defend you in all, all your, your ways, ways of righteousness. righteousness. And in times of trouble, they will do what? Lift, Lift you. you. Yeah. Unless you dash your foot against the stone. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's the jurisdiction of heaven being mm -hmm. manifested over in your life, earth. wherever Amen. you are. Exactly. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So the kingdom constitution says in John 7 mm -hmm. that you are in the world, 
but not of the world. Mm. Jesus was saying it. Mm. You are governed by the king and the kingdom or the government of okay. heaven. That's right. Amen. Even though you are in a foreign territory, your government's colony, your registration is not here. Mm. It's not here. Mm. When it says your citizenship is in heaven, mm -hmm. it means that your registration, your official documentation is not on the earth. Mm -hmm. Where mm. is it? In heaven. It's in heaven. When you are born again, your name is written in heaven's official registry mm -hmm. as valid confirmation that you are wow. now citizens of heaven, mm -hmm. even though you still live in, in the, the colony, colony of earth. earth. Wow. Mm -hmm. So even though you are physically away from the kingdom, mm -hmm. the country called heaven, mm -hmm. you are still a citizen of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So what did Jesus say about his kingdom? Let's mm -hmm. read and see what he said about it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask my mother to go to 18, John 18, mm -hmm. excuse me. Mm -hmm. And we're going to read verses 33 through 37. Mm -hmm. You need to really read before, but I'm going to yeah. go right there. Because yeah. this is, of course, when Jesus is in front of Caiaphas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who is the governor of Rome? Mm -hmm. And he's the governor in Jerusalem, in Jerusalem, but he represents Caesar in Rome. Right. Wow. Amen. Yeah, so 18, John 18, 18 33, 33 to 37. And Pilate, this is, you know, he's gone to Jesus and he's gone back to them and said, you judge him by your own law. And now he's coming back. To them. And, and the Jews are saying, you know, no, we have no right to execute anybody. So then Pilate goes back. Um, he goes back inside the pilot. He summoned Jesus and asked him, are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus says, is that your own idea or did others talk to you about me? Mm. Then Pilate says, yes. here's the shade. Pilate says, shade right he says, am I a Jew? You know, <laughs> Pilate replied, your own people and chief priests handed you over to me. What is it you have done? Mm. Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jewish leaders. But now my kingdom is from another place. Mm -hmm. So Pilate says, well, then you are a Jew then. And Jesus answered, you say that I am a king. In fact, the reason I was born and came into the world is to testify of the truth. Everyone on this side of truth listens to me. So then Pilate says, what is truth? Mm. I'll end it right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> so when Jesus was standing before Pontius Pilate, mm -hmm. the Roman governor of Judea, Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? And what did Jesus say? He replied and said, my kingdom is not of, of this, this world. world. Mm. My kingdom is not of this world. Right. If it were, my servants, the angels, mm -hmm. would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jews. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now my kingdom is from another, another place. place. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's important to note here both what Jesus said mm -hmm. as, well as, as well as what he did not say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus did not say my kingdom is not in this world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, my kingdom is from, from another, another place. place. Amen. He did not say, my kingdom is not in this place. Right. He didn't say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As the official representative of the emperor, Caesar, Pilate possessed kingly authority in Judea. Mm -hmm. And speaking as one king to another, mm -hmm. Jesus acknowledged his, his kingship. kingship. Amen. Right. In fact, he said it plainly to Pilate. You are right in saying that I am a king. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, for this reason, I was born. Mm -hmm. And for this reason, this same reason, I came into the world to testify to the, the truth. What? truth. The uh, truth. The, the truth. original information. That's the right. original information. Amen. Amen. So what is the truth? Mm -hmm. The truth is that the kingdom of heaven has it's arrived. arrived. Amen. Amen. And this was, again, the only message that Jesus preached. Mm -hmm. So Christ's kingdom was in the world but not of the world, mm -hmm. right. just as we are in the world, mm -hmm. but not mm -hmm. of the world. Mm -hmm. His kingdom, his government was from another place, mm -hmm. but also resident here on the earth. Mm -hmm. His kingdom, his government, again, is here yeah, now, right. but it's not from here. Mm -hmm. 
So when you experience what we call miracles, right. mm -hmm. it is evidence of the presence of a greater a government. government. Amen. That's so true. Mm. So all kingdom citizens possess dual citizenship mm -hmm. in heaven and on mm -hmm. earth. Amen. And this dual citizenship status will continue until the day mm -hmm. when the present heaven and earth pass away mm -hmm. and the king recreates them both. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow. And then there will be no more separation because the time will have come when, as it says in Revelations 21 and 3, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. dwelling of God is with men mm -hmm. and he will live with them mm -hmm. and they will be his people. Wow. And, and God, God himself, himself will be with them and be, be their God. God. Amen. 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 That's enough to shout right there. Right? <laughs> Amen. 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 So guess what? This is a sad part, mm. but we are going to end today's session oh, on this note. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So remember to join us next week as we continue learning about the kingdom principle of citizenship. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Wow. <laughs> wow. Jeez, Such good stuff. Yeah. Yes. Good stuff, yes. So now let's move into our open forum discussion. And this is the time if you have any comments or questions to place them in our comment section and share them with us because we have a team of people that are available to make sure we are answering your questions. And even if you have, you're looking at this during the recorded, um, the recorded time, place your comments in the comment function then and we'll eat, still be able to get back to you. Amen. So are there any questions at this point? Amen. I know we had a comment of somebody earlier. Does she wanna make that comment? <coughs> I was just merely stating that it's very important um, that they heed to what you said about purchasing the book, the Kingdom mm -hmm. Principle book. Yeah. Um, it is, you just get a different revelation mm -hmm. when you read it for yourself. Amen. Yeah. Amen. When you see it for yourself. I mean, they're teaching what this, what's in that book. Mm -hmm. But it's just something about reading it yourself and you get, a, like I said, a different revelation. Amen. And I think it's because you're reading it yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's like he says, the truth will make you Be free. free. Yeah. And free. That, that's a truth making you free Amen. Yeah. by revealing the truth. Amen. 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 And the scripture also says, study to show Should thyself approved. Amen. 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 Any Amen. other comments or questions? Amen. So we're going to go ahead and end on this yeah. note. So if you've missed any of our prior <coughs> sessions Excuse from our me. Sunday series, we strongly urge you to go back and watch them all. Yeah, They're all still saved on our Facebook page. And you can also access them from our website, which is www.ftwcinc.org. That's www.ftwcinc.org. Org. Amen. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all of our videos there as well. Amen. 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 So remember to join us each Sunday at 3 p.m. for our continued studies. Mm -hmm. And may you be transformed by the renewing of your Amen. mind Amen. so that you will know the good, acceptable, and perfect, perfect will of God. Amen. 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 Now, the final thing that we want to remind you of today, and that is Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Amen. 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 Be blessed. God bless you. We'll see you, see you next week. week. Amen. Amen. Amen.